and your building runes as well as a small guide and a small guide on how the mechanics of the mage farm works okay so they asked for me to sh all right okay so i got asked to show display like what the talents of build was and like exactly the internal mechanisms of this farm so basically here are my talents they're 16 in arcane um got two in subtlety that's for the resistance that gives you 10 spell pen now the pvp trinket also gives you 10 more spell pen which i think is important for like guides above your level um you have this this is reduced the chance that they can resist your spells which is also important for higher levels i also recommend getting things that give you spell hit as well like such as the boots these give you one percent spell crit there are scrolls that you can get they give you another one percent etc etc um there's also a trink i want to say a trinket or a ring that gives you another one percent from bfd but i haven't gotten that one yet if arcane concentration this is i put three out of five in this you want it just a chance that you get the free mana any extra arcane explosions you can do is are super nice can make the difference wand specialization gives 25 percent wand damage that's you're going to need wands to finish off the rest of the guys and also if you just do bfd once and complete it you'll get a 32 dps wand which is the best wand i've seen in the game thus far um let's see the debuff they put on you doesn't matter Let's see, Magic Attunement, this increases the effect of your Amplifying Magic. Now your Amplifying Magic will increase the amount of healing you get back from regeneration. So it works in unison that way. Improved Arcane Explosion, this gives you an extra additional 6% crit chance, which is also extremely important. Then Arcane Resilience, which gives you extra armor. Now the armor is extremely important because you just, I mean, you don't want to die. All the damage you're taking is physical. Um, now, so you put the three buffs on. Put my Amplifying Magic, I have my other two on as well. You don't have to be a full mana, you can be. So, some people like to do the regeneration first. Personally, I like to pull before. The reason why that is is because some fights last longer than 30 seconds, and I don't want to have to spend another 200 mana on regeneration if I can help it. So, like for this one, I'm going to pull under the deck. So, I'm going to go up, grab one Sailor, grab another Sailor. They're going to hit you. Let them hit you. It's fine. We drop down here. We grab another one. Now, we do Living Flame, regeneration, start Arcane Explosion, grab any that aren't in the mix. Stay back here. Make sure they stay on the fire. You want all of them to be stacked up to be doing as maximum amount of damage as possible with these arcane explosions. And then you just keep pressing arcane explosions until they're dead. And that is the plan. Now, if you happen to pull without living flame, you cannot do the fight. Your arcane explosions healing is reduced by 80%. They nerfed it into oblivion for that exact reason. So, um... Without that, it's just imp it's literally impossible. Like, I don't know what else to tell you. So, yeah, that's how you do the mage farm. Oh, another thing as well, if they resist, run away. Basically, if Living Flame is not a part of your equation, you need to GTFO. Uh, having these boots also helps as well, because they reduce all damage you take by 30% for like 6 seconds, I think. So, still needs 2 extra. But yeah, that is my guide as well. And if you want to see the gear I have, I have shoulders from BFD cloak i had i found the the best like stat combination hold on i'm gonna heal myself real quick so i found the best stat combination for level 25 i put shadow res on it but that's also for bfd i got the chest from bfd with plus one to all stats this gives me another eight spell damage we have seven ar we have arcane bracers with plus three stamp stamps for health arcane damage destruction damage obviously and emberstone staff and plus three intellect now there are better weapons than this out there i'm working on getting those but for now this is what we got subscribe gravestone scepter and that's from the quest in bfd rune of perfection this gives you the 10 spell pin and another 40 health this is by getting friendly with the silver wing sentinels and for wars on gulch shifting scale talisman this is i mean it's just an extra five spirit i have the pvp trinket as well but i'm not doing pvp right now so i'd rather have the extra mana regen for needing it this is the part of the quest chain to get your purple boots you get this on the way there two agility six intellect i need a better ring than this this is from uh uh deadlines seal of ren fantastic ring extra planner the purple ones this is the one that gives you 30 percent damage le like reduced as well it also reduces the damage that you do though so you use it as like a last resort like a insurance policy gives you another know, seven spell damage as well as a one percent spell hit so this is definitely the best piece of gear i have by far i gave it one stem on the enchant night watch pantaloons nine stem eight intellect reinforced with armor because there's no pant enchants yet um <clears throat> this is the best pants you can get pre-raid they are from the Morbin Fell questline in Duskwood. You're going to need a party of between 5 and 8 people to complete the last part. He's level 32 elite. Belt of Argol, SFK. Uh, there's a stash of Gamura, I think, in BFD that I'm going to, I'm going for. I'll take the 2 intellect loss for the extra 80 health. 
and then gloves and the ego. I'm also waiting to get the spell damage gloves from BFB. But until then, these are what these are what we got. Let's put reinforced armor on it, and it's got a living bomb. But the runes are regeneration, living flame, and living song. Those are the runes for PvP. What I like to do is I like to do icy veins and arcane blast. Those living bomb is also pretty good, but arcane blast with icy veins allows you to get a lot of extra healing in because of arcane blast. You can abuse the fact that it costs like no mana as long as you're a little bit patient. Anyways, yeah, that's the talent build. Hopefully that helps.